Hi, in this video we're going to work with the C Sharp language and we're going to be manipulating strings. So this is a programming challenge that I did in class with my students and I'm going to help you out here. So here's the challenge that we're going to program in the next few minutes. I want you to create a function or a method that can take a string and capitalize every other letter. The uh, example you see here shows my name and says Skyline Style, we're going to call it. And that's not how you spell style, but that's how we're going to create the format. So you notice the capital S, the lowercase h, capital A, D, space is considered a capital here, and then so on going to the end where every other letter is either capitalized or lowercase. So the code that you see in the middle here is where we're going to start and then I'm going to give you some hints and then finally show you an answer at the end of the video here of how you would program this, at least one way that you would program it. My name is Shad Sluder and I teach programming at Grand Canyon University and so if you're interested in learning how to code in not only in C Sharp but maybe in Java or JavaScript then I invite you to subscribe to the channel because this is what we learn. I'm going to make you a software developer if you stick with me. So I have Visual Studio in front of us now. I'm going to run the program and see what the results are. So you can see that it says my name written in Skyline format is Shad Sluter with the capitalization strange rule applied. So let's see how this might work. So I have some starting code here in front of us. This is a console application and I start with by defining a string and then I'm going to have this format here called skyline format and then when I print I'm going to show my name plus the string and then the final concatenated formatted string all together on one line. Okay let's start from the beginning if we were using Visual Studio from the start. So I'm going to create a new project by clicking at the bottom. I'm going to select a console application with the C Sharp language and choose next. So I'm going to call my program Skyline Letters. You might call it Camel Case or something similar to that, but what we want to do is have every other letter capitalized. I'm going to switch through the rest of these options and just choose the defaults. All right, so now we have the Hello World starter code in front of us. Let's start coding our solution. So to get started, let's define a string and we'll call it name. And you can use a long name and a longer name will make it more obvious. And so I'm going to use my first, middle and last name. Then I'm going to create a second string, and this string, let's call it uh, Skyline Word. So Skyline is the idea of skyscrapers and the staggered letters. And then we need to have some kind of a function name. We're going to make this up. My name that I'm using is called Skyline Convert. And we're going to pass in one item, which is our name. So now let's let the computer do as much work as we can for us. So I'm hovering over this red underlined part that says there's an error. And you can see that this skyline convert method does not exist. So let's choose show potential fixes and see what is suggested. It says, would you like to generate this? And sure enough, I'm going to generate it. And let's see what happens. So let's scroll down a little bit. And sure enough, you can see that we have a new method, a private static string. Now inside of here, we're going to do our work. So let's delete this. So the parameter that's being passed in is the name. When we're done here, we have to return something. So I'm going to create a variable called x and we're going to return it. So at the beginning, let's define that. So we'll create a new variable called string and we'll, we'll set it to a empty string. Now to make this work, I'm going to have to go through every letter in the string. So I'm going to choose a for loop to do this for me. So I type for, tab, tab twice. And now I have this for i equals zero. And let's set it to the length of our name. And then inside of here, we're going to ask a question. Are we using an even number for i? So to do that, we use the mod operator. So percent two, is a operator that will give you the remainder of a math problem. So for instance, is 3% 2 going to be equal to 0? No, 3% 2 is a remainder of 1. So if you have a remainder of 0, that means that this number is divisible by 2. 
So I can say that I know that I is even. And if it's not even, well, then it's going to be odd. So now I have a way to check to see are we at an even letter or an odd letter. Now it's sort of arbitrary which one you want to make capitalized and which one you want to make lowercase. Uh, there was nothing in the puzzle that specified which. So I'm going to assume that even numbers are capital. So now we're going to add this one letter to the string called x. So to make a concatenation, I'm going to use the plus equal sign, which means add on to x. So we're going to take name square bracket i, which means the letter at position i in the name. And then this is not a string, so I have to convert it into a string. Um, you thought it may have been a string. It's actually a char character. But a char is easily converted to a string. Once it is a string, then we have access to the function called to upper, which will make this string an uppercase value. Now the opposite case, of course, is that it's an odd number. So if i is odd, let's make it a lowercase value. So I can take the exact same line that I put in the previous if statement and now put it into the else statement and change it from uppercase to lowercase. So by the time we're done here, the value of x will contain all of the letters in our string. It will be every other letter will be capitalized. Now it's time to print our results. So let's go back up to the top half of the program and I'm going to now say console write and I want to print several things. First of all, the variable name, then concatenate a sentence that said name spelled in skyline format is. And then we have this variable called skyline word which is getting its value from the skyline convert method. So if we're done correctly, this should print off both versions of my name. Now finally, I'm going to put in a read line so that way the program will stop and wait for the user to press enter before the program closes. It's time to test it. Let's go ahead and click the run button. And so sure enough, look at the results. It says Shad David Sluter spelled in Skyline format is, and you can see that the first letter is capitalized and every other letter is lowercase. So it appears that this puzzle is working. Now the reason that you probably watched this video is because you are interested in programming. This kind of skill is useful at many job interviews where they give you some kind of a task where you have to invent a small algorithm. And so stick around for the channel here because this is what we learn in class is how to apply computer languages to solve problems. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to come back to class again.